How's it going? Mark here with another fragrance review. Um, let's take a look at the Chanel house. Um, this one is going to be from their Allure line. This is Allure um, Sport. Um, so let's take a look at the presentation, the bottle and the box. Now this bottle um, of course has the uh, typical Allure bottle. Um, we got uh, the nice uh, Chanel engraved in the cap. We got the CC right here. Um, your code is in black in the back here. And uh, we have some information at the bottle bottom of the bottle. Now this bottle, uh, we got a few Timbits on this bottle and the first one is this is designed after a Chanel watch which is the J12 and uh, also Allure Um Sport also comes in in a cologne version um, which is a clear bottle um, so definitely when you're if you're purchasing online make sure that it's not the cologne version that has the clear bottle because it's a totally different scent. Um, a lot of people can attest to that, so make sure you're purchasing the right fragrance. Um, now, here's the box, guys. Um, and of course, you know with their, all their details in the back, and then we got some information at the bottom of the box. Um, so, Chanel Allure Homme Sport comes in the two standards, 1.7, 3.4. You're looking at around $50 to $85 American to purchase this fragrance. So, a little more pricey than your run-of-the-mill designer fragrance. Um, discounters really don't discount this that much so you're gonna have to pay the buck to get the fragrance um, this one was re released in 2004 um, it actually has won an award with me it uh, made one of my top 10 list um, my top 10 for summer in 2010 this was in a three-way tie for the number two slot um, so definitely one of the best summer fragrances overall at least in my eyes it made number two um, group, this is a fresh fragrance right off the bat, but it really morphs into an oriental spicy fragrance. Um, so it's, this is not going to be your run-of-the-mill summer fragrance or your run-of-the-mill sport fragrance, but I'll get back to that later on. Um, now, Perfumier, uh, of course, Chanel's in-house, Jacques Pudge. Uh, recommended age, anybody. Um, anybody can wear this. Teenager, right up to your grandpa. Um, definitely these fresh fragrances with a little bit of spice to them really are made for anyone and this fragrance is Mr. Versatile and uh, you'll see that in this fragrance review. Now how many sprays and where? I go one on the chest and one on each side of the neck. Uh, three sprays is good enough for this fragrance. Why? Every spray on this is a big one. Um, these sprayers work very well and you'll see that when I do my initial spray. Um, now let's take a look at the notes, the note breakdown. We have in the top Mandarin orange, aquatic notes, and aldehydes. Uh, we also have in the mid, black pepper, neroli, and cedar. And in the base we got tonka bean, amber, white musk, and vetiver. So just looking at that note breakdown, I know it's going to go fresh and then it's actually going to go a little more oriental on me. So uh, let's actually waste a spray of this and I'm going to just show you this a great spray of Chanel. There you go. I sprayed everything. <laughs> uh, so three sprays is correct. Now with this fragrance, right off the bat, I get lemons. Lemons, 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 lemons. But five minutes later, it goes to almost a bitter orange. So it morphs like that. It gives me that orange. So the lemon, a lot of people notice the lemons because they smell it right away. And then 10 minutes later, it goes to, five to 10 minutes later, it goes to a bitter orange right away. Now it's almost sweet and it really feels creamy right off the bat. The musk, the white musk in this, um, really is the backbone to this fragrance. I think it's the skeleton of this fragrance and then they just added a few more things to it. And there is some aquatic notes at the start of this fragrance. It really felt like it was a melon feel of an aquatic note. Now this start of this fragrance, some parts of it really reminded a lot of people of Versace Puram. A lot of people will compare this fragrance to that. I think it's only the top notes, but that's my opinion. And the reason why is because Versace put on has Neroli, just like this one has. It's got some aquatic notes like this one, and it has some citrus like this one. So the start of these fragrances will be alike, but that's where it ends. Um, so you're going to get a little bit of Versace put on at the start of this, just a little bit. Now in the mid, the mid, now we get actually that orange stays put. Um, that citrus actually stays all the way through this fragrance. Now it might jump on your skin and you might just smell a lot of citrus all the way through or you might have some in the background. To me it changed it up a little bit. 
Um, so sometimes it was in the forefront the whole time and then sometimes it was just in the background once it dried down a little bit. But um, we'll say in the mid, most of the time it was actually going in the background for me. Now it hits you with a little bit of pepper to give it a little bit of spice and a little bit of floral quality. Now I was looking for that floral quality because I found it one time when I was wearing this and I was like, this reminds me of something. Guess what it reminds me of? Chrome, Azaro Chrome, yes. But this floral quality is very much muted and you have to look for it, which I did. And then when I found it, I wanted to forget it. <laughs> uh, but either way, um, you also get cedar in the background with this fragrance. So you get a little bit of woods here and that's when it starts smelling like the original Allure and it starts warming up. It gives me some sweetness uh, with that amber and that tonka bean. Um, so very nice. Um, so it really goes to a fresh fragrance like Versace put on freshness and then it goes to an Allure Homme <laughs> which is an oriental spicy fragrance. So this could be basically your Allure part two. It's definitely not an Allure Homme sport uh, to me. <laughs> now in the base, I almost forgot about the base. Surprisingly the citrus is still there, yes, it's still around, the white must takes over, the tonka beans there gives you some sweetness, and don't forget that vetiver, the vetiver is still there, kind of gives you that, uh, that uh, woody type feel of the vetiver, so very, very nice, very well done. Now, this fragrance, it's very fresh and clean off the bat, but not as fresh as the concept indicates. A lot of people will let you know this is a fresh fragrance, summer fragrance, um, this is a sporty fragrance, it's in the name. Um, I really don't think this concept is correct for this fragrance. I think this is a versatile fragrance and it almost has a smooth creamy vibe all the way through that Tonka feeling to it and I really felt like this is really not that sporty. Um, most sporty fragrances are really fresh and invigorating for like four hours and then they dry down to musk and then they're, they're done. Um, this is definitely not, it, it had that blueprint but it really, they, they changed it up. They put like the original Allure in there and they put a little more things into it. Um, so it's not your typical run-of-the-mill sport or summer fragrance. It's nice and fresh at the start, creamy, smooth and sexy in the dry down. Yes, I said sexy. <laughs> um, it's a daytime fragrance, an everyday summer fragrance. Not only that, I'm going to add something to it. It's also very versatile. Good for nights, yes I said nights, and days, and almost all season. I'm telling you, almost all season with this guy. Could be great for signature scent. No doubt about it, this is a great signature scent to look at. Um, in fact, it could be actually a great work scent. So anybody that's looking for a work scent, ta-da, right here. <laughs> um, now, Allure on Sport really lacked a wow factor with me. Um, it really lacked that originality that I look into fragrances, you know. Some fragrances, you know, I just feel so confident wearing them. I feel original, like, oh, no one's going to wear this today. I'm the man. <laughs> this really lacked that wow factor. It's not that original. Um, it's very safe. All Chanel fragrances are very much safe, quality, well done. But to me, uh, I need something a little more and this kind of fell short in that, that factor. Um, this is of course YouTube's favorite sport fragrance um, and I'll agree this is uh, a great fragrance I've put in my top tens um, so definitely I agree it is a quality fragrance. Now why would you hate this fragrance? Some people dub this as just another fresh aquatic fragrance just your run of the mill. Um, also um, a lot of people when you put a, the Chanel name on a fragrance People think, oh, this has got to be over and beyond anything else. And then once they smell it, they get disappointed, and then they bash this fragrance. And not only that, it's too safe. So as you can see in my why would you hate this fragrance, nothing really is about the actual smell. Um, so it's very people-pleasing. Um, a lot of people are going to hate this for reasons of their own. You know, and they're not going to say, ah, oh, this roast it smells like nothing nothing that I would like um, no they'll, they'll find it nice they'll find it pleasing they'll be ah it's too safe I can't wear this so let's let's keep moving it on here one word to describe this fragrance to me this was really smooth smooth fragrance it really felt smooth uh, bottles 
Uh, if you really enjoy Versace put on, the start of this is very, very close to Versace put ons. You might like that, and then the dry down might be a little different for you. So you might enjoy that too. Um, if you enjoy Allure on the original, you will definitely like this. It's a little different. I think it's Allure Part 2, Allure on Part 2 um, for the fresh heads. But that's what I think it is. Um, and of course, if you enjoy Chrome by Zaro, um, I'm, I'm telling you, it has a little bit of that chrome from Azaro in there and some people that will like that fragrance will update to this one, hopefully. Now, best time to wear this fragrance. When I wore this, the best time that I had with this fragrance, it worked like a charm, was in the summer nights. I don't know what it was about it. You know, it's, sometimes this fragrance is a little too much in the summer heat and sometimes it's not enough in the cool weather but in the summer nights it mm, it worked like nothing else so definitely try it out in the summer nights because a lot of people say this is just the daily scent no 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 that's where you go wrong the dry down is great for nighttime scent compliment factor uh, compliment factor with this guy this is pretty good um, I'm gonna say it's almost like a lure um as far as compliment factor. Um, you're not going to get anybody over the top love in this fragrance. They're going to say, oh, you smell, you smell fresh, you smell good. Um, no over the top compliments and it is a compliment getter but nothing too crazy. Um, so it's above average. Now my two cents on this fragrance is, I, I think I've touched a little bit on this uh, review. Uh, basically for me you know how I feel about these fragrances, uh, these Allure, these Chanel fragrances. All Chanel fragrances are made to sell. Um, they're safe, they're well done quality juices. Um, I'm going to give them all the time in the world. They're going to be ranked, you know, they're going to get 8, 9 uh, out of 10 every single day. No way. You know, they're going to be great. But to me, uh, for to get me excited, Give me a 10 out of 10 out of me. I need something different, unique, um, something that's really going to excite me. And um, this is going to get a very good score because it's very versatile. It's great for everybody. It's quality juice, it's worth your money. Yes, for me, it's going to be a 9 out of 10. I don't really use it that much because I look for stuff that's unique. But when I'm really in a rush and I'm like, oh, I don't know what to wear, what am I going to do? This is safe for every occasion, anything at all anything. Um, so it's it's like my Swiss Army knife, like a Lorum. Um, this is a Lorum part two. Um, I really feel like a Lorum is for people that are that live in Canada. You know, most most of our weather is fairly cool, um, so that's a great signature scent for you. If you live in warmer climate, I think this one. If you kind of like a lure, but it's a little too much, this one gives you like a fresher take of a lure. Personally, that's what I think. So let's get to buy, try, pass. This is a definite, I have, I have no, no regret saying this. This is a definite buy in my eyes. This is a purchase that a lot of people will not regret. And the main reason, the main focus is it's a people pleaser. Um, it's going to work for you. It's a workhorse. It's versatile as hell. And basically, it's your do-it-all fragrance. So a definite buy, it's worth your cash, and it's not going anywhere in the future. So guys, this is my fragrance review on Chanel de Lurum Sport. Let's take a look at the rating system and see how this bad boy does. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, let's rate Chanel Allure Sport. Uh, projection, I'm going to give this 7 bottles out of 10. It's fairly moderate. It's average. Um, it gives me a startup of 3 hours scent cloud and then slowly dies down. Uh, longevity, I'm going to give this 8 bottles out of 10. Very good score for a fresh scent. 6 to 8 hours, one of the better ones in the fresh genre. Versatility, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. This is an all-season, all-occasion fragrance. Don't let the name fool you. Don't let the notes fool you. This fragrance is all over the place. Overall smell, this one gets an 8 out of 10. Um, it's a, basically an allure part 2 with some freshness added to it. Seasons, summer, spring, but great for all season.
Uh, it's very safe and it is a people pleaser, one of the most versatile fragrances on the market. It's not sporty like the concept indicates. I'm going to give this one an overall 9 bottles out of 10. Great fragrance made for basically anybody.